the three billion dollar empire yeah i'm nathan musician i spent 13 years in the funeral profession and i've spent a lot of time on amazon prime but before we dive into that be sure to click that subscribe button and also the bell so you can be notified when i release exclusive content right here on youtube the burial amazon prime jamie fox you've seen it tommy lee jones that's a true story. Now, I want to backtrack. In the 1980s, there was the Lowen Group. It started as a single funeral home, just like everybody else tends to start, family owned. And Mr. Lowen taught his son how to do all of the work, the embalming, funerals. You get the idea. But his son, Mr. Lowen, decided that he loved the finance side of things. So he went into the financial he started to acquire because there were dollars involved. Now, in the early 90s, the loan group is acquiring at a rapid, rapid rate. I mean, you can look at these graphs. And at one point, whenever they end up in Mississippi, they have 754 funeral homes. And then comes Mr. O'Keefe in Mississippi. Mr. O'Keefe, he had a couple of rooftops. He was going to consider selling because he got into financial trouble he got into financial trouble he's multi-generation in the funeral profession he got into financial trouble because he was offering pre-need insurance at other funeral homes not the o'keefe funeral homes basically times got tough so he did what a lot of funeral home owners in small communities do they look to sell if their kids aren't going to have the torch passed to them here comes mr lowen well long story short <laughs> the lowen group did some shoddy things and because they did some shoddy things mr o'keefe he sues and wins a ton of money now i'm familiar with this story because when i first started to acquire funeral homes i learned of the lowen group now the lowen group people who <laughs> People who were part of the loan group are now part of other very large acquirers in the funeral profession. It's been said that they're using similar practices. It, I can't speak to that. I can say that when I first started to acquire or consider acquiring, I heard of the Lowen group. He would go into small family owned communities, family owned funeral homes that did not have someone to pass the torch to i mean think about the families the young kids they grow up they see mom and dad doing everything at the funeral home from mowing the yards tending to the deceased loved ones having the family members come by to pay a payment on they're maybe late they don't want to make that family mad they're in a small community so they're never going to say hey you owe me money that's just one scenario so all these headaches that these kids see they don't want to have any part of it so they go and become doctors <laughs> or something else that's smarter, meaning they aren't going to put themselves through the grief. <sighs> In comes the loan group and says, we'll save the day. We will pay you a premium price for this family-owned operation. We will continue to operate with the name. Now, when you are acquiring funeral homes, absolutely don't change the name. It's considered suicide. You only change the name if you don't have the support or if the name that you're buying, the home, has a bad name. These families would sell to the Lowen Group, and the Lowen Group would just make tons and tons of money. There is strength in numbers. Now, there's a method to the madness. I can tell you that there is strength in numbers, especially during the pandemic. You're able to pull from resources. You have buying power with the casket companies. The casket companies are going to give you better treatment arguably because you're buying more products can't get that casket to the 60 call firm yes you can get that casket we'll send seven drivers since you're buying a thousand from us the loan group were acquiring at rapid rates the loan group got sued by mr o'keefe they lost Mr. O'Keefe won a massive settlement. You should watch the movie. The movie does a really good job of painting the picture and showing what happened. When you're acquiring a funeral home, it's about relationships. People will sell their cars and their homes to 
anybody because they want another car and they want to move. They'll sell their funeral homes to hardly anyone because it did raise kids. It did provide for families. It did send people to college. It is literally probably their home. They lived above it or beside it on the property itself. There's beauty in being able to develop these positive relationships because one of the homes that we acquired, there were three people, contenders, two larger acquirers, meaning two larger companies, and then myself. I had drive, vision, ambition, and passion, and I was authentic. And I think that's what's that's what is needed when you're acquiring. And apparently Mr. Lowen was really good at being all of those things until I guess the company got so big and he wasn't. I can't speak to that. That was before I was 10 years old. I can say that acquiring is happening. There is the need for it. People are scared of the big corporate funeral homes, but why? Why, if anything, they're more affordable, they're more efficient, they're more resourceful, they have better processes. I'm not saying family owns do not. I just know there are strength in numbers. I do know that there are a few really big providers, SCI, they operate under the Dignity brand of, of, and a few others. There's Foundation Partners, there's Parklawn, to name a few. The Lowen Group messed up and in a few years went kaput. Now, it was a hush-hush thing because here's the kicker. And we had funeral homes in markets where the Lowen Group had purchased homes, paid premium prices for them because they had the ability to do that. And then when they filed bankruptcy, guess who they sold them back to? The former owners. So it was all hush hush that the loan group buy them. They keep the name. The former owners either work for them or just continue to promote them. And then when it comes time to liquidate a bunch of these, a lot of the homes were sold back to the initial owners in the first place for pennies on the dollar. So they were set up well, and then they get it back for a deliciously good deal and price. And they're able to sit pretty and relax knowing that everything's taken care of financially. This is the only profession I can think of or that I've been made aware of where you don't have to be a good business person to be a successful funeral home and business because a funeral home establishment is, yes, it is a business. It is a for-profit business. It's hard to talk about money and finances when it comes to caring for someone during the most delicate of times. Trust me, I've been on the other side of the table more times than I'd like to count. But all 50 states require a loved one when they die to be cared for. And then the proper term is disposition disposed from a funeral home. It's not the funeral home saying it's, it's the law. You have to go to a funeral home. So why not have incredible people take care of you? If it's a legal requirement, you can choose certain things and you can choose how much or how little to spend. I'm getting off topic. The rabbit hole is deep. Watch the burial. I say that word. Interesting. The burial on Amazon prime starring Jamie Foxx, Tommy Lee Jones, Mr. O'Keefe and O'Keefe funeral homes versus the Lowen group. It's a true story. It really happened. A $3 billion business. Kaput. Kaput. Acquisition is happening. Family-owned funeral homes, the legacy continues, and it doesn't have to necessarily be within the family. If people are intentional and kind and passionate, compassionate, and have a desire to care for you, I mean, doctors do that too. They make money. They're caring for you and protecting you and providing health care, health care and prevention of disease and illness. You pay for it. Keep that in mind. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen the movie. Let me know in the comments below after you've seen the movie. And let me know in the comments, actually, if you have a corporate-owned funeral home in your community. Because within the profession, the funeral profession, corporate, ooh, it's very weird. And I don't mean to mock. It's just I think there's this 
I'll say it. There's a jealousy. It's like, oh, wow, this person was able to acquire 43, 150, 4,000 funeral homes, and I'm struggling to make payroll on the corner of my big city firm. Let me know in the comments below if you have a corporate-owned funeral home in your community. And be sure to subscribe right here where we are dropping exclusive content. And also, be sure to click that bell where you can be notified. And, you know, click in the description. You can stream some of my music like Yet, which is number 15 at radio. Or Last Time, which is going to be the next single. Yeah, share it with a friend, foe, family, fellow. <laughs> All right, see you next time.